is it going boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. How is it going boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. It is actually a beautiful afternoon. It's been pretty windy uh, this week and we have a little teeny tiny pocket of clean weather this afternoon and uh, my good friend Justin just called me and talked me into going to look for Wahoo for a couple hours so I'm gonna grab the gear and I will see you down in the boat. That is 70 feet. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but I can see the bottom. We are going to give it a go. You know Justin, you've been out with him before. This is Kobe, I've not met him. Justin's trying a new spear gun out today, but he doesn't know that every time he misses it costs $200. So, <laughs> should be fun. Let's rock and roll. Alrighty, so what we're doing, if this is your first time watching, um, we're kind of out in the ocean gonna be floating around we're looking for wahoo or what's called ono in other parts of the country we call them wahoo so pretty much what we do is we jump in out here in the deep blue we've got some flashers just pretty much anything reflective and shiny uh, we've got these big giant guns with lots of power and range connected to a line connected to a big buoy so when you shoot this everything comes off line buoy we swim up with a gun and hypothetically speaking there's a wahoo on the other end uh, and we fight it and try and get it past the sharks so that's the name of the game. Um, we're kind of shallow right now. We're gonna work off the edge here. It'll drop down to about uh, ballpark 140, 120, depending on where you're at. Um, this spot, I think it drops down to about 120. So we're just working that deep edge. We flip, set up, float along it, and uh, kind of just sit and wait. Let's hop in. Welcome back underwater, everybody. So if you can't tell by the caption, um, we did end up going home empty-handed. This was, um, I won't say an unproductive day, it was an unsuccessful day as far as harvesting a fish, but um, I did learn some stuff, and I know a lot of you guys, quite honestly, just say you like seeing the videos and it's escape from reality, um, whatever that may be, and I'm happy to share. So. <clears throat> One thing I did want to address, and I've talked about it a lot in the past, but I want to reiterate, YouTube is a highlight reel. Um, especially on these Wahoo trips, I'd say probably half of the Wahoo charters that I run, half of the time we come home with at least one Wahoo. Um, that number's a lot uh, lower on reef trips and whatnot because Wahoo are so hard to find, hard to shoot. Uh, and Wahoo, commercially speaking, we probably, probably 30, 30, 40 percent of the time come home empty-handed um, just because we have more experienced shooters and whatnot so wanted to address that very difficult to find Wahoo um, there's a lot of days that quite frankly we just don't even see them dude this is like what dreams are made of it's like 120 foot crystal clear and it may appear that just because of YouTube and it being a highlight reel that I shoot more Wahoo than anybody well the truth is I also don't shoot more Wahoo than anybody if that makes sense so very first drift 10 minutes in this never happens school came in um, they just weren't having it they were traveling by there's already a bunch of them I kind of did my drop. By the time I even saw them, they were already past me pretty well, um, past what I call my 50-yard line. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't turn around. Uh, 
weren't having the throw flasher. We only had one throw flasher. Uh, Justin had it, but they didn't turn on it. So for whatever reason, they just weren't having us. Um, here's a good angle of the flashers. I keep mine at about 30 feet or so. You can see Justin down there. The water is just unbelievably clear this day. The camera doesn't pick it up, but you can see the bottom at about 100 feet. Um, when we drifted up on the edge, I could tell. But just absolutely perfect conditions. Justin, throw that flasher towards the boat. So here comes a solo. Comes by. Every fish this day just seemed to be moving. They didn't really, they weren't very curious. I don't know what the reasoning was. They didn't even really look at the flashers or stop. Uh, Justin had the throw flasher. I told him to fling it, which he either didn't want me to shoot this fish or he's a terrible thrower because um, it only went about 10 feet. Anyways, fish wouldn't turn, just was not having it. You can see it there just on the surface. For whatever reason, just this fish was not having it. And I'm not chasing this fish violently. I'm, I'm definitely swimming at it to see if by chance it's gonna square up on me at all. He's right on the surface. He's like a foot from the surface. I'm not kicking on the surface violently, just kind of big, slow, long kicks. Um, unfortunately, it never did turn around, never gave me the shot. Maybe if I had a throw flasher, it would have turned, but again, pretty much every fish we saw this day was just on a mission, swimming into the current, not curious at all. You can see the bottom there when I just dropped, it was in about 100 feet, it was pretty incredible. And I tried the old drop and turn your back to it trick to see if it would turn around, but it did not. So next drift, one solo comes in. Justin kind of gets it to square up. Um, I missed the shot here because I was more concerned with losing the throw flasher. And he said as he pulled the trigger, it's a brand new gun, he had never shot it. As he pulled the trigger, the slip tip fell off um, and he hit the fish without a tip on it, which isn't effective, it just kind of pokes it. But um, I didn't actually see the shot, so I cannot confirm nor deny. But quite honestly, you know, we, we had our opportunities. It's two drifts in, we've already had three Wahoo come in. So here's a little, little shark action. Um, not uncommon to see sharks out there almost every day we see sharks for the most part i am not an expert i believe this is a dusky uh and just kind of came in it was curious um i was doing a little bit of chum in here and there but nothing crazy and uh, i'm not trying to piss this thing off i'm just trying to let it know like hey i'm also a predator this is my area back off so i grabbed it just kind of mellow it recognized me but it didn't you know, it didn't piss it off, it, it didn't charge me, it didn't, not to say that that can't happen. Um, so it kept coming in, just, and honestly, it's probably just waiting for me to shoot something. I grab it again, you can see the kick there is just a smidge more aggressive. And it just kept doing big circles around me. Like I said, it's these sharks are getting smart. They're keen on what we're doing. They know that spear guns mean and boats mean food. Um, and this was the third pass it did, and you see here it seemed that two passes was enough. Um, it didn't even let me get a hold of its tail, and that was the last I saw it. So I annoyed him enough to leave. And uh, this was pretty cool. I, I saw a ton of these in the afternoon. There's a sailfish on the surface. Um, pretty much everywhere else in the world you're allowed to shoot these. Uh, here in Key West we are not. Um, but I thought it'd be pretty cool to share. That sailfish right on the surface. I think total I counted maybe eight or nine throughout the day. So here comes my opportunity on Oahu. Justin uh, had taken a break. He was um, just got just hopped out of the water for a few minutes, which is normally when a Oahu swims by. This is a smaller one, 20, 30 pound fish. Comes in, you know, it gives me the broadside. Perfectly in range shot. I hit it pretty low. Um, I've had lower shots stick. Um, I wasn't really confident in it, I'll, I'll be honest. That's gonna pull out. 
awful shot. I was being a little negative there. I've had worse shots stick, but um, just not just didn't want to baby it. You can see I'm looping my my gun around the float, a uh, flasher float, just kind of a trick to so you don't lose your gun. It doesn't float away if the boat's not right there. I think he already came off. And you can see I had a feeling it already came off. The buoy stopped moving. The line was just kind of laying slack. Um, And I pulled up and this was very interesting. I, I had just tied this on, maybe it was my fault. Um, I had noticed earlier in the day when I was looping my Spectra, uh, it was a little frayed on the end, so maybe it allowed the knot to pull through. Um, but you'll see here, the fish actually didn't pull out. I actually lost my slip tip, brand new slip tip, like 120 bucks in the hole, but that's the reality of it. Um. I don't know how that cut. That was a brand new Spectre slip tip. Are we still in the zone or should I reset? Wrap that up. I guess we'll do one more real quick one. I was kind of underneath them again, so I may have had a better shot than I thought, but how the hell did that tear out? Or how did it uh, snap? sailfish well that for the most part is the extent of the action um, I did want to say I have put the order in for dibs on bottom shirts Key West Waterman shirts and hats are being um, designed right now we're gonna keep it simple uh, kind of my style so they probably will come out on Instagram first uh, just because if it's midweek I like to get them out as soon as possible so follow me on Instagram if you have not dibs on bottom underscore adventures um, but other than that remember YouTube's a highlight reel we have bad days at one point in my life I shot my first fish so if you're just getting started don't be so hard on yourself it does take time um, and seriously YouTube is a highlight reel that's all I got I appreciate you guys tuning in well we suck Stupid. About four more sailfish. Well, that is all we've got out here. Thanks for coming along. Unfortunately, we are going home empty handed, but I think it's important that I share it sometimes, especially if you plan on booking a charter. We do everything we can to get on them, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. So, other than that, thanks so much for your time. Thanks so much for walking, watching. Like if you have not if you're not and we'll see you on the next one see you